Au revoir, said the man. I am glad to make your acquaintance. Is it true, asked Alan, that you have a certain mixture that has er quite extraordinary effects? Here, for example, interrupted the old man, reaching for a bottle from the shelf. Here is a liquid as colorless as water, almost tasteless, quite imperceptible in coffee, wine, or any other beverage. It is also quite imperceptible to any known method of autopsy. Do you mean it is a poison? Call it the glove cleaner if you like, said the old man indifferently. Maybe it will clean gloves. I have never tried. One might call it a life cleaner. Lives need cleaning sometimes. Probably it is just as well, said the old man. Do you know the price of this? For one teaspoonful, which is sufficient, I ask five thousand dollars. Never less. Not a penny less. I hope all your mixtures are not as expensive said Alan apprehensively. Oh dear, no, said the old man. It would be no good charging that sort of price for a love potion, for example. Young people who need a love potion very seldom have five thousand dollars. Otherwise they would not need a love potion. I am glad to hear that, said Alan. So, said Alan, you really do sell love potions? Their effects are permanent and extend far beyond the mere casual impulse. But they include it. Oh, yes they include it. Bountifully, insistently, everlastingly. For indifference, said the old man, they substitute devotion. For scorn, adoration. Give one tiny measure of this to the young lady its flavor is imperceptible in orange juice, soup, or cocktails and however gay and giddy she is, she will change altogether. She will want nothing but solitude and you. I can hardly believe it, said Alan. She is so fond of parties, she will not like them any more, said the old man. She will be afraid of the pretty girls you may meet. She will actually be jealous, cried Alan in a rapture. Of me? Yes, she will want to be everything to you. She will, when she has taken this. She will care intensely. You will be her sole interest in life. Wonderful cried Alan. She will want to know all you do, said the old man. All that has happened to you during the day. Every word of it. She will want to know what you are thinking about, why you smile suddenly, why you are looking sad. That is love, cried Alan. And how much, said Alan, is this wonderful mixture? It is not as dear, said the old man, as the glove cleaner, or life cleaner, as I sometimes call it. No. That is five thousand dollars, never a penny less. One has to be older than you are, to indulge in that sort of thing. One has to save up for it. But the love potion? said Alan. Oh, that, said the old man, opening the drawer in the kitchen table, and taking out a tiny, rather dirty looking file. That is just a dollar. I can't tell you how grateful I am, said Alan, watching him fill it. Here you are. You will find it very effective," said the old man. Thank you again, said Alan. Goodbye. Au revoir, said the man.